Hello again, and well, we're back with uh, with playing our life, and let's continue. The chirping of crickets in the in the door cross greeted you, quiet and familiar. From the top of the hill, you could see the ocean. As you walked, you listened to the crash of the waves on the shore and the sea seagull, the seagulls squawk, squawk, squawking <laughs> oh, already. I have a hard time pronouncing English. Um, squawk, squawk, squawking as they set it down for the night. Uh, you always loved the ocean. It was so much fun. You loved to hear stories about the sea, about the merfolk and sea serpents. You imagine living far beneath the waves. You didn't enjoy the beach all that much, especially the sand. It's got absolutely <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Star Wars meme. Star Wars meme. <laughs> um, uh, Alexander. What? What do you love? Mm. I do think Alexander would love. Uh, the ocean and would just like <laughs> like I uh, I don't know what to say he would love the ocean let's go with the first one sometimes Lizzie would join you the two of you splashing each other in the in the waves those were the best day days. You took in a deep breath. You wanted to try to relax and couldn't. You weren't sure what, but something told you that you were, weren't, weren't alone. So you glanced, glanced around. Here's the big boy. Lucky. How small he is. <laughs> and pink cast. There was a boy sitting at, at, at the top of one hill, almost completely hidden within the long grass and white flowers surrounding him. His head was buried in his knees staring ahead by himself for what, whatever reason probably just that he wasn't paying attention he hadn't noticed you yet he watched him, in, him a mi minute longer feeling a little bit like you'd found a deer in the wild though the deer didn't have um, green hair wavy eyebrows uh, huge glasses, pink casts, sad thrones. Uh, well, <laughs> the pink cast is very noticeable, so I think I'll just go with that. But, but this new boy did. You wonder how we got it. After a few moments, after a few more seconds, he took a step forward, then another, and then he glanced your way. His aquamarine eyes reflected the light of the moon. He stopped, raising a hand a a no, a no, <coughs> English, uh, a no, no, a no, it's him. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> and 
so we weren't sca scary. Hi, hey space cadet, are you lost? Mm. I go with. Are you lost? With a start, he jumped to his feet, his hands falling into fists at, at his side, sides. He didn't say anything, he stared at you in a strange way. Oh, look at you, so small and crying. <laughs> He'd been crying. There were traces of tears on his cheeks and his knees. Soaking the hem of his swords, and his eyes were still shining with a few more. Oh. You obviously got him off guard. Guard? Guard? <laughs> I don't always remember the pronunciations. And even if I remember, I can't really <laughs> see this. But let's move on. His pink ass seemed to glow in the twilight, though when he caught you staring at it, he hid, it, hid his arm behind his back. Something the man earlier had said stuck out to you. Go? <gasps> Eyes wide, he studied you. How'd you know that? Uh, I met your dad. I'm all knowing. Lucky guys. Um, well, I met, I met your dad. Oh. <laughs> He's not so disappointed. So, is this your heel? He gestured with his uninjured arm to, to the patch of grass surrounding you, his face falling at the prospect. I can leave if it is. Uh, yep, you can't own a hill. You suck your head. Mm. <laughs> I have always found it funny when some kids claimed <laughs> some dicks to be theirs. I didn't really understand it even when I was little, but I think <laughs> Alexander will, will be that kind of kid. So, yep. <laughs> Uh, bye then. Wait, you can stay. I'm not kicking, kicking you out. But you said... I don't have to make people leave just because it's not theirs. What if people can visit? His face relaxed a little at that. And he threw the grass beneath his uh, shoes timidly. Oh. <laughs> he sat back down with the thump. This thing is seen on his knees again. Curious about the about the strange boy with the odd dad. You sat on the beds of grass next to him. The pure white flowers that covered his ear rocked back fortunately as the stars twinkled above. The way the thought that they thought the the sky made them seem like flowers too. The night wind was cool as it travelled over, over the ocean and up the hill, chasing away the heat from the afternoon, afternoon sun. Uh, why are you here? Why did your family move? Why are you here? Oh, <laughs> a quiet hiccup escaped go, go as soon as you asked asked the, the question the question oh, I really hate that the T or the has, is pronounced differently at times. I always forget when when those hope oh, the correct way to pronounce of the pronunciation oh. I mean, you probably get it. Uh, and on. Almost like they never stopped. He still started up again with the with vengeance. My parents. 
Det är inte för att leva och göra det mer än jag. Det är för fast och tv och det är plastik. Sticken i det är stark glasses. När man med det liv och det är Took me with him and now we have a house here and I want to go home. The old boss took you off guard. But I may was done wailing. Bosses was heaving with, heaving with exhaustion. Sniffled, sniffled the remote glasses. Wiping at his eyes with the back of his hand before he put, it, put them back on, on again. I hate this place. And my, I want my real life, real life back. I want my mom. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Uh, but the <laughs> thunder is a bit of a comfy grump, so... Um, I'm sorry. Your dad seems kinda nice. <laughs> you like it here, you just had to get used to it. <laughs> Stop crying. Uh, and there is a cramp, so stop crying. <laughs> he slipped his hand underneath his glasses and pressed his fingers against his eyelids. Co wound himself up, himself up again for another non crying fit. We were tired, <laughs> tired of seeing him cry so much already. He started to learn to toughen up. Baby's cried. <laughs> oh, thank the. But, but from way off in the distance, you heard your parents. Xander. Cove? But he said, <laughs> Kids, where did you go? Go looked at you. Tears still clinging to his cheeks. Don't tell me we're here. I wanna go home. Oh. I don't want to go back to that house. I want to go home. Uh, you can hand it. You have to go. Don't worry so much. Sorry, I have to. It will be okay. Mm. You can handle it. <laughs> Maybe. You can handle it. Even if you can't, you should do that, right? Yeah, yes. Dusting the grass off your pants, you stood up. So you didn't come here by yourself or with a stranger. It's good to take care of you, no, mo no matter what. Slowly, Ko stood, stood up with you, still looking a little reluctant. His dad's voice rang out again. Ko, can you hear me? He looked towards this. Sound does sound. Oh, I, ne I never know. <laughs> of his dad's voice, silent, then turned away while rubbing his nut bandit's arm. Sorry. Sorry, I still want to go. Don't want to go. You called out yourself. You waited silently with him. You tried to convince him. You call called out yourself. What do you? <laughs> What in the home? You raise your own, own voice. Over here. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> that was uh, a weird voice that came out for me. Go straight. Raise sword. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm playing the meme game is a bit fun. <laughs> Ghost face sword. He said nothing but his thoughts were thoughts were probably pretty nasty at at that moment. The three of parents appeared over the curve of the hill. Instantly all their eyes landed on you and they rushed over. <laughs> Look at them mums. They're so pretty. <laughs> Super pretty. Both your mums were at your side in a split second, faces filled with worry. Xander, you're here after all. We had been at the park to check for Go, and then he Go, and then heard what happened earlier when you met them, met the new neighbor. Uh, I thought you might have 
might have gone off further away. Now, with are sitting in the grass, why is everybody acting like this? This is such a big thing. <laughs> we're okay, we're okay, don't worry. Go did him want to go home, she said. Um, why is everybody acting like this is such a big thing? Uh, we didn't know where we went, we were wor worried. Hmm. Yes, thank god you're both fine. Hmm. Where are you having fun out here? He looked over at Go. He was wiggling against his dad's tight, tight hug and pushing at his arms. You shocked? Yes, I like him. Um, <laughs> he's good. I think I'm gonna marry him. <laughs> I never, never chosen this option, <laughs> but it makes me laugh every time. Maybe at some point I choose it. Uh, but um, you shocked? Yes. Yes, I like him. Um, Either you shocked or um, mm, he shrugged. Shrugged. He's new. Uh, it, it was okay. <laughs> Finally, letting go of his squirming, scowling song, cause that turned to the tree of fear. That's a relief. Thanks very much for finding him. I really, do, really don't know this neighborhood. And neighborhood. Good thing, Sander. Knows this uh, whole area as well. Absolutely. We should be getting home now. It's been a long day for us all. Say so goodbye, go. Bye. <laughs> oh. The two of them walked off into the darkness, heading towards the neighborhood. You watched go Ko's bright pink cast on the until it disappeared. Hmm. Um, tell you what, we'll have a proper play date tomorrow, okay? Your new friend's, friend's dad wanted to bring him by to see you and Lizzie. How does that sound? Sure, can I show you my stuff? <laughs> it sounds like words. You're not talking your head down. Uh, it sounds like words. <laughs> but your mom's lo loved. The sounds are sounds overlapping into a warm, familiar cho chorus. Mommy put her arms around your shoulder and led you towards the bed. The bed. Satisfied and more than a little ready to go to bed after your long, exciting day, you followed them home. Choose your, choose your feelings for go. This is how you feel towards go for this step. You can change uh, in later steps. Uh, except, like, um, your feelings. Like, you can start with indifference, fond like friendship and crosses, well cross, but you can like go down with with your interest level. You can only go up on the lava, but, but that's locked right now. If you uh, choose cross, you can uh, choose fondness or indifference later, but you can always change this one. Comfort. And in Xander's case, it's gonna be nervous and. or maybe direct? And no, nervous. Like it's a day. And. Well, let's say he had a cross right from the start. Love at first sight. <laughs> and. yeah. Nervous cross. <laughs> what a cute face. And ready. Begin step one at nervous cross. You would be able to sense it again under step two. Yes. Uh, the next morning you finished your breakfast fast that you got the tummy ache. <laughs> 
Your sister Lisa had run out early to go play, but it stayed but Today, just like your mom's had promised, I was coming over to hang out. Excited to see your new friend again, Alexander. I'm excited. How sweet. Isn't that just the sweetest thing? Oh, I, you can relate to this, moms. <laughs> I bet the two of them are going to be great playmates. <laughs> Considering how, how, how I'm going to play Xander. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. With that said, are you done with your breakfast? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> I don't know, am I? Your pub was entirely empty, so you know, not it. Uh, <laughs> that seems sarcastic, somewhat sarcastic, so yeah. With all the expiration and eight year old can master, you looked at your empty cereal bowl, then at, then at mom. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> edited kid, we see. Good job, he should be here soon. Cle clean up the gun, and then on cue, there was a knock. It was a hesitant, like the person wasn't sure they were in the right place. Still low, low top. We need to get the more uh, obvious door, doorbell. I know, I know. Xander, could you get it? You practically leaped out of your chair on the way to the door. To the door. To the door. I don't know. <laughs> Oh dear. Hey, Peter family. Thanks for having us. Mr. Holden, as your mo moms have called him, and his son were here. Cole cool looked different in the bright light, lightning of your living room, and when he was a crane. <laughs> With his dad standing in front of him, and mom and m mommy behind you, you and Cole cool looked at each other. Please to said, see the interesting new boy again, smiled the girl. Co return, returned it shyly. Uh, do you wanna see my room? room? Okay. <laughs> what did he say? Take care. Let us know if you need anything you do. Have fun, kids. See you. See you later, son. Play nice. You'll let him do your room. Buffy noticed. Just a little bit at the side of your treasures. There, are lo there were lots of stuff animals. A cool bed, a window, a window to look out. It was a great room. You hadn't had anyone to, to show it to in a while, but you were really proud of it. He leaned in, in a little closer to one of your drawings on the wall. I like this. Me too. I do you that. Thank you. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm going to choose this one <laughs> just because. <laughs> I drove it, but it's not very good. I think it is. Oh. <laughs> it might slightly hurt him. Even if it wasn't work you were pleased with, it was polite of him to say. He turned to look around the room a little more, studying the books on your desk and the picture, pictures on the walls. You started to feel a bit nervous. You felt the atmosphere was kind of awkward. You were glad for the company. You hoped he liked your room. Um, you felt the atmosphere was kind of awkward, maybe? You wanted to say something but he didn't know what, so let him keep looking. Then his eyes landed on the tiny box of bead things you coll collected, tucked away by your door. He took a step towards it, before hesitating and pointing at it instead. What's that? A quart of stuff I want on the beads. Oh. Do you have any driftwood in there? Dragging the box into the middle of the room, you and Go flop down next to it. Uh, yeah! <laughs> you can sit the piece at the bottom, 
bottom stick covered with specks of sand. Neat. Neat. This is a good collection. You could got the sense from the tone of his voice that he wasn't just saying it to be nice or to be like Silo. He actually met it. And Silo is someone you're going to see soon. Ah, oh, Silo is coming over. Silo? My sister's friend. He wants to um, meet you. Mm. Do you have to see him? It'd be okay, I think. Here, I found this cell in a log and he pulled out the sea cell after sea cell explaining where to got the needs on and holding them up, up against the light. There were big ones, small ones, pink, purple and orange. Most of them you must off in the bathroom sink when you br brought them home, clean off the sand. Um, over the past few years, you'd even learned some of the scientific names. The collection was huge and varied that you had lots of funny stories to tell for all of them. The voice faltered a little bit, but you kept going as best as you could. Um, Xander is... Now it was around cool, but he's, he's still rather proud. Proud, so um, I haven't even thought would he be smart or not? Would he know stuff or not? Uh, let's see, he does know stuff. Over the past few years, you'd even learned some of their scientific names. You had a full picture book dedicated to different cells and sea life. You'd learn a lot by flipping through its pages. Apparently fascinated either by the stories or by the cells themselves, Cole listened with what looked like the full force of his attention. It was a new experience to be the center of Sook's dedicated focus. For some, re some reason, it was making your cheeks feel form. <laughs> oh. He had never felt like this around someone before. It was kind of weird. <laughs> Kids, come down to the living room. You could tell the idea was making him unhappy, but mommy wasn't giving you much of a chance to hang around. Go hadn't been like this meeting you. Because it was because he thinks you found each other by accident, not that I better have made it happen. Mr. Holden must be right that telling Cole is that was part of that would be a bad idea. Before you knew it, you both been escort escorted downstairs and deposited in the living room, ready, ready for Silas' visit. The two of you sat side by side on the floor on your home's entryway. I brought the box of cells. I wanna keep looking at them. Great, okay, but be careful. You should have ask, asked. Uh, Alexander would go with that one. Uh, sorry. Fine. But Stanley Stan opened the lid, peering inside again. Go read in and pulled out the big orange cell. Oh, <laughs> like he hadn't spoken a lot yet. He turned to you and held it up, his eyes shining. I think this one is the best of them. That's my favorite too. I like a different one best. I can show it to you. You can take it. Um, I like a different one best. I can show it to you. You reached into the box that they got on a who on a on a prefer. You reached into the box that they get. Oh, the one you preferred. 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 <laughs> English. I have to practice this word. Uh, Cole looked on with interest. The two of you were still sitting on the floor looking through your collection on pitch findings when your doorbell finally rang. Cole jumped, started by the sound. Since the person had a knocked, if he got it was probably Silo. 
He knew where to look for that. Lizzie's friend. He nodded, but that didn't seem to make Ko feel better. It was already obvious that Ko didn't hide his feelings. Well, Felix, well, you could tell what he was thinking right away. This isn't, this isn't a good idea. I'm sorry, there's nowhere to go. He said the only door and if you go upstairs, he'll find you. Go glanced around the room, his eyes wide, finally paused with his cage locked on the back of the house. No go. I can go out of the window. No, 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 no. He was already walking, the, walking towards it. Scrambling to think of something to say, he used the forward when the post. Uh, and I think I'll actually stop here for now. Since it will be a surprise what the silo guy will look like. And yeah. Bye. And see you next time.